What's going on Lawn Care Nation? Richie Plumbing Spoons Lawn and Landscape. So Jessica's finished up blowing off this property. So I want to take a quick second and show you our new addition, which is a new eight and a half by 20 foot rising enclosed trailer. So we decided to go to eight and a half enclosed and it's not necessarily because of um, anything in particular other than we get rain constantly here lately. and. You know, and I was running out of room in my storage facility or my storage building or shop or whatever you want to call it. It's not nothing major. It's just a little wood building that's my shop. You know, it's big enough I can get three mowers in there and all my tools. So, um, decided to get the eight and a half because we run out of room in it. This way I can carry everything I need with me on the truck. There is no, uh, do I have this today? Do I have that today? Everything goes in the truck and, uh, and I have it with me. Uh, it was uh, another another youtube guy or uh, instagram uh, social media guy that uh, he said it best you want every tool you think you may or may not even need on the truck at all times so it's like you know what that's pretty smart instead of me getting certain things that i need and taking them with me and unload them at the end of the day just put them all on the truck just put them all in here we've got it if we need it it's in there sounds like jessica's fighting in there i don't know if she's getting beat up or it's not like she's ripping the walls down in there i think she's fighting to get her blower on let's see everything okay in here you fighting with your blower no, I can't get it in the rack. You can't get it in the rack. It's, it's, in there it's too high. She says I've got it too high. She's short, I guess. She said I got it up too high. So let's show you the inside, guys. So we've got the equipment defender, three position racks. Of course, uh, you've seen all these. The SRM 225, 2620T, and the 2620S uh, edger. I've got the equipment defender racks over here holding the two and a half mix. Trash bucket with some trash in it. Of course, our grabbers. Uh, over here, I've got the equipment defender uh, rack with a shear can. Uh, we actually use that to fill just the push mower now. And I'll, I'll go over that so I can pull up, push the mower right up. I can turn the hose down right into the mower. We ain't got to pick it up. So two blower racks. Now, right now, I'm running a PB580T. It's a limited edition from Echo. Thank you very much for sending me that Echo. Uh, it's great for just quick blowing off. It's lightweight, super easy. I mean, you can tell they don't even fit in my rack. I've just got it sitting in here. Um, I've got that set up for the PB the 9010, the big one. So, and I really don't need that right now in the summer. So, then my wife's BR600. Of course, we've got the Ferris Z3 in here, uh, spray racks up front, and uh, we've got the Bobcat WB700. Got it up front. Uh, this is a cool add-on. So, the Milwaukee Packout System. I took and mounted them to the walls for all of my stick equipment. So I've got Milwaukee's new uh, brush cutter here. I've got a brush cutter. I've never been used yet. So we're planning to use those this year though. But uh, my hedge trimmers and my pole pruner got it in here. And then the attachments and the, and the original fuel attachment system. So um, Milwaukee products I love. I, I love their products. I mean, they're, they're, they're durable. They're good quality. They last a while. The batteries last forever. I can't say enough good things about them. So I've got those in here. Then I've got just an assortment of uh, tool racks here to hold like weed eaters. Uh, there's some gas cans up here that guys give to us the other day. He's like, I th these aren't mine if you want them. So it's like, throw them in here. So I'll probably put those in the shop at home. And up front, I have an air compressor. Uh, can't go anywhere without an air compressor. Never know when you're going to get a flat airline over here. This shelf is just simple i mean it's nothing major i'm not a carpenter so i put a little uh, come along up here in case we get stuck i've got my echo hedge trimmer the 2810 hc 2810 uh, i've got the milwaukee hatchet back there in the back to cut some limbs off and my new favorite tool the milwaukee m12 i can't flip it over i can't twist my hands that way the, the new uh, m12 uh pruning shears like those that's uh, gonna be a crepe myrtle uh deal there for crack myrtles come crack myrtle season so anyway guys nothing fancy just want to show you guys real quick uh how we've got this set up right now we do plan to make some changes i'm gonna put some lighting in here i need to put a front vent a rear vent for some reason this trailer didn't come with one so i'm gonna put a front and rear vent in here um i'm gonna pull everything back out and uh, probably do a garage floor coating on these floors just to protect it because you know we get a lot of this old grass just you know just dripping constantly on the floor i'd like to be able to take it is treated plywood but still like to get some uh, a little bit better protection i need a flap across the seal there too it uh, tends to kind of uh, bust the flap when uh, or bust the wood on the back there when i pull across it so uh, even with the deck all the way up so we're gonna we're gonna get that taken care of 
like I said, nothing fancy, guys. Just wanted to show you the trailer, uh, what we're running, while we're running it. And uh, she's giving me that look of, let's go. We ain't got all done. <laughs> so, I better get out of guys. Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.